What's happening, everybody? It's <laughs> Podcast Unlocked, and once again, I forgot to mute the stupid it's laptop. so loud. <laughs> the, it catches me off guard every time. The show is put together in a very sort of bubblegum and scotch tape kind of way. Correct. And Delicious. We can't okay. all be beyond. Whoa, I it's don't in the know same what that room. means. Yeah. We don't all have slick animated introductions. <laughs> we don't all have panda musk doing <laughs> our jobs have, for us, all, all right? news ghosts. <laughs> We have a news ghost. That's I our heard news, it. Our it's news segment so is good. called The News Ghost. That's and we really go, good. Ooh. I like that. Because we're children. Putting your own stamp that. on the show. I like that. <laughs> Take that legacy. I'm going to unzip my pants and urinate all over you. <laughs> Suck oh. <at> Chris Roper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it got so dark. Anyway, this is IGN's Xbox <laughs> yeah. show. Oh, our yeah. Our weekly uh, Xbox show. Number one Xbox show on the podcast interwebs. Somehow. So I'm told. And so iTunes tells me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, it is uh, February 25th. Yeah. February's about over already. Jeez. 2015's a real thing now. Ugh. Yeah. Old enough. 2015's old enough to drive. <laughs> and to get uh, car insurance yeah. for its rentals. And, uh, and buy a pack of uh, American spirits. Yeah. This is uh, episode 184. We're slowly counting down towards episode 200. I'm waiting. I'm, I, I, the ball is out of my hands now. Really? I'm trying to get some Ooh. magic happening. With t- I'm just waiting for some people to... Basically, I need money. <laughs> I need them to pay for certain things that I want to do that would benefit all of you who yeah. attend. Most Six, bo- 16 shows. Yeah, and we're getting there. So, uh, counting down towards that, working towards that. In the meantime, we've got a lot to cover this week. Turned yeah. into a end of February, turned into a busy news week. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Then all these games are coming out in March. Oh, what's great. happening? What's happening? It's great. It's, gonna be great. it's the biggest. Yeah, yeah. so uh, you guys are going to be at PAX East. All three of you are no, at PAX no East. Dust, You're right. not going. No. I almost went. Then I said, hey, I really don't want to travel every <laughs> month this year. <laughs> right. But yeah. you will hopefully not be missing a show because it's a weekend show, right? You'll be back for yeah. a Wednesday Yeah, episode. we'll be back Wednesday. Be yeah, we leave Thursday. We'll be back Monday, I think. Well, I'm, you might I'm be back gone. Wednesday. Oh, you're back Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. In any case, uh, so that's going on. Uh, Phil Spencer heard the show last week, as he always does. Sorry, Phil. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were talking about Phantom Dust, and he, yeah. he said, uh, "Oh, I, Ryan, DMC Ryan's wrong on this one." And so, well, getting called we, out. We didn't, well, we didn't say that Phantom Dust was going to be canceled. You got I just in said trouble. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised sure. if it ended up never coming hey, out. Hey man, again. like I hey. hope it doesn't get canceled, but I will believe that's a game when I see it. I'm yeah. also glad that we spurred him to take to the internet and say, <laughs> "No, this game is t- for real." So, so okay. we did a, lot of people, a lot of people sent Mitch and I at least uh, links to like where we could watch gameplay of Phantom Dust. So now I have well, a bit more of an idea of what the game is. Yeah. On that note, yeah. <laughs> we got a pretty uh-huh. good. Yeah, care we got package. a care package, and I actually wish <laughs> I I don't have the gentleman's name in front of me. I will give you proper thanks and kudos later. We were sent a care package that. Contained not one but two copies <laughs> of Phantom original. Dust in for the case original Xbox. One like doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> it's something I don't know. He, Where are they? He they're on his desk. desk. Oh, this nice. gentleman kindly hunted them down. What a champion! So they're just used copies from a store, and uh, yeah. So we're we will play it. We're gonna and we'll play it on film. Yeah, let's, let's, let's play it. Yeah. yeah, it'll be good. So I know uh, Vince was obsessed with that game. Yeah, he's yeah. the one that's uh, carrying the torch. It's a card game. Oh, the game. So I got confused. I kept confusing that with a game called uh, Phantom Crash. Phantom Breaker? Phantom Crush. It was uh, a mech game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I, kept I know what you're talking about. Qu- Phantom Crush. I think so. That's wow. why. You I... must have been like, this game's going to be amazing. <laughs> That's why I, ca- I kept thinking Phantom Dust was a mech game. And then when they were like, no, it's a collectible card game, I'm like, that is totally not what I was thinking it was. <laughs> Yo, Phil, where is Chrome Hounds? Bring that back. Let's talk to Sega. Do they have now the... that sad? Sega's we're now. We're never getting another really, Chrome Hounds. Yeah. Sega's in trouble. Yo, Knuckles, you could, wear that. You could probably get the Chrome Hounds IP cheap, considering Sega's We'll sort get of... that, we'll get blinked. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll I seriously start. want to play Phantom Dust, so I'm going to steal one of those copies, I think. Yeah, you should. Got two. They're on my desk. Good luck yeah, trying yeah, to find an yeah. uh, Xbox 360. Or an Xbox One. I have one on we, my desk. Well, uh, no, an Xbox well, Zero. We, we need, need to do... Uh, <laughs> the headline will be Phantom Xbox. Dust Xbox One footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, we need to see if it's. I don't actually. I haven't checked the list to see if Phantom Dust is backwards compatible. Most original Xbox games oh. were, but not all. So yeah. wow. I'm gonna look that up. That yeah, might have been the one like uh, Otogi wasn't, which sucks. Yeah. The Myth of Demons. Are we just, uh, uh, Chrome Hounds from software? Otogi from software. You're on a from, so- what? from software. I did not right know now. that. Yep. Wow. They were I really. Pro- Marty and I fantasize about a Armored Core from From Software from time to like time. Like a new one. Yeah. And it's. I just, want, I, just want dark, I just want Dark Souls with giant robots. Yeah. I like that you waited for your boner to get going yeah. there. And then you're like, okay, now I'm going to talk. Deeply. <laughs> uh, 
I want to talk about hard drives for a couple minutes because yeah. obviously we play. I know, sexy <laughs> topic, <laughs> right? Excited. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the boner now? <laughs> uh, Man, so many boners. I know. It's, well, <laughs> what is, it's an enthusiastic Xbox that's podcast. True. It's going to be a I strange video if you're only watching this breakout. It's compatible. You do yeah. not have the context for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part, though, isn't it? Yeah. Then you, well, hopefully that drives the curiosity to listen sure. to the rest of the show. And Yo, like, where's this, all this boner talk coming from? What's this show all about? But no, it's uh, you know the the Xbox One does support external hard drives, yeah. and the PS4 supports swapping the internal hard drive. I finally got to the point after what a year and two months, year and three months, yeah. filled up my 500 gig default Xbox One internal hard drive, and I mean I'd filled it up before, but you know, I would just delete stuff I wasn't playing. I finally got to a point where I said, okay, because there are certain games, whether it's Forza Horizon 2, Master Chief Collection, uh, Evolve, I want to keep around, Sunset Overdrive, where I just, like, I do not want to delete this because sure. I just want it here at a moment's notice. I don't yeah. want to have to re-download it, reinstall it. So I got to a point, finally reached the point where I'm like, okay, I can't uninstall anything else. So I finally had to buy... An external hard drive, and I'm not that happy about it. Whoa! No. Oh, how big was it? Just it does it not run well? No, or no, something? it's every no. It works great. It's just the fact that I have to spend money. A hundred extra dollars. A hundred extra dollars. A year to, and a half into the to play more life. video games. Yeah, yeah, that makes Which, sense. Which, yeah, it's kind of like mine's I've never, full too. I have to like delete the fitness game I know I'll never use. No, <laughs> yeah, I've you never know. had to spend extra money to, like that to play a, on a video game console. Now, I mean, in Heinz, you know, it's it's not that I want to be able to play off of discs because. Having everything installed to the hard drive is good. It makes so good. games runs run better. Yeah. But I just wish, and I know there are costs and economics, and it's both Sony and Microsoft that made the same decision. But man, it is, I just it is a shame to me that these two consoles both ship with 500 gig drives when they yeah. knew well, games are way bigger now. Right too. when they so knew that every game, problem. I mean, launch games, what Call of Duty uh, Ghost. Ghost was 40. I think five gigs. Yeah. Yep. NBA One of the 2K basketball games, yeah, was huge. Was the same, forty something, like almost yeah. fifty gigs. Well, now with Call everything getting twenty, and they something. everything is like getting expansions, so you have to have the core game installed. Plus, you're going to get like these yeah. right. one, two, well, three, four, one and gig. And how about downloads? Things like Assassin's Creed Unity has a you know what six hundred meg patch. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's just unfortunate that that we've reached that point. But more positively, I did want to just if you are in the same position. I actually ended up, I did a little bit of research, mm -hmm. mostly just took, I remembered a tweet from Eric Neustetter, uh, the vowel on Twitter, who's Xbox Live's uh, operations lead. He's been on the show before. He's, yeah, he has been on the show. Uh, super nice guy, and he knows this. I figure, well, if he recommends it, that's sure, good sure. enough for me. He had recommended a, uh, a Seagate 2 terabyte uh, slim. It's like a pocket like drive. A, the passport style. Passport, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, and so it's $100 off of Amazon, you know, no problem, free shipping, so... Uh, I went with that, and it, the nice part is it, it actually sort of matches the look of the console. Oh, it's nice. the, sort of the same gloss black, and even its its uh, activity light is white that matches the... <laughs> nice. So it yeah. sort of matches the console. Is it one of the hard drives? Does it need a external power supply? That was my very next point, okay. was a lot of people started tweeting me, oh, well, if you would have spent $25 more, you could have got a 4 terabyte. And I was like, well, that's that's fine. But for me, it was sort of came down to two things. One... This hard drive is bus powered, USB powered, so you don't have to run a separate thing yeah, to plug into it. the wall. So it's it's literally as plug and play as it gets. Cool. Then the other thing too is, yeah, I could have got four terabytes, but I was again angry at having to spend <laughs> any money to begin yeah, with. Yeah. So even an extra twenty five dollars is like, well, I'm already spending a hundred. I need yeah. to I need to draw the Gotta line somewhere. Well, for another twenty five, you could have got the eight terabytes. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but also. Uh, it's just like I, I did the math, and let's say it, average 40 gigs a game, yeah. which is probably – that's, that's going to be closer that's, to that's reality. That's so. conservative, yeah, right, yeah. in the sense of it's actually probably going to be – It's going to be going up, but you would yeah. imagine. Yeah, I'd hold more. But it's, that's 50 games yeah. that, if they're 40 gigabytes apiece. So that's a lot of games. I'm not going to fill that for a while. Well, yeah, you know and at I mean? a certain point, like some of the games that you're keeping around, like I think you'll – probably delete Forza once the next couple Forzas come exactly. out. So yeah. yeah. And what about when the three disc Forza game comes out? Three discs to install it. I three Blu rays? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Coming soon. That you could be. drive anywhere in the world. <laughs> Justin, you did you actually for both the PS4 and Xbox One Filled them at, up, yeah. at launch, yeah. you ran a test to see because back then the consoles 
or at least the Xbox. I don't know about PS4, but d- they didn't, didn't say how much was yeah, left. Yeah, it didn't show you exactly how much of the 500 oh, gigs you right. had. Yeah. And what did you find? Was it like 380 something? Was yeah, it? it was not really close. There's a lot reserved for the OS. W- yep. Which is yeah. the, always the case we on also, any computer or device. We mm-hmm. just had a freelance guy. I just used both of those videos that you made in a freelance feature written by IGN freelancer Jenna Pitcher, who wrote about why like 500 gigabytes is not enough. Like this is no longer acceptable. Yeah. We need machines with bigger hard drives. Mm-hmm. So, for exactly the so stuff you're it, talking about. So the fact that I'd filled my 500 gigs, I'd actually only filled. What was it? It's like 380 something. Yeah. Do you remember? I don't remember exactly, but it was something like, in that ballpark. Yeah, yeah. somewhere yeah. around there. So at least now the good news there is two terabytes that I bought yeah, you're is good. actually two terabytes yeah. and not one point four terabytes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, to if you're if you're you, yeah, so you, you just gotta think about it. Like, do you want something that you have to plug into the wall mm-hmm. or not? Because mm-hmm. you know, you'll pay a little bit more for the USB power drive, but you then won't have to run a, a cable and it's super portable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, how much do you Really, like, yeah, four terabytes might sound like a good idea, but, you know, in the end, it's, again, two terabytes. Is so there are sort of a number of weird decisions you have to make when you're going to go gonna buy start, a hard drive. They're going to start throwing bigger hard drives in there, and they already kind of have, haven't they, with some well, of the models? the Call of Duty, yeah. hideous Call of Duty model has, yes. terabyte, has a one terabyte yeah. in it. The hideous Call of Duty model. It no, is. It's it's a, it's a, no, it's Atlanta has one smashed apart on her desk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, wow, you, I've yeah. always wanted to do that, and you yeah. just you just office space that thing. Why you is just it took it out apart? What happened? She took it apart to... Look at the components, I think. Oh, it's like That's our tech yeah. editor at work. Yeah. <laughs> Disassembling consoles. Can I just take that terabyte hard drive out and put it in my Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I want you it, actually right? might That'd be a good her. video. <laughs> yeah. You going to use that now? But, yeah, right. no, I mean, whenever that slim that we've talked over and over about, it, it inevitably will <laughs> almost certainly hit this year. Mm-hmm. Right. It's going to have a, a one terabyte drive in it. Like, mm-hmm. I, would, I would bet, f- like, six in and out lunches on that. <laughs> Anybody come? What's on? The- yeah. <laughs> it's getting out of control. Yeah, I, I, I seriously, I don't know if it's an in and out addiction or a gambling addiction. But yeah, but you have, you have it, one of them. It's an in and out gambling addiction. Let's, let's just in and out real in my house. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the next In and Out burger will be opening in my backyard. Yeah. Oh, Actually, that would be super that lucrative. That would be, I'd also gain. You would also die. Pounds. Yeah, yeah you would die. Like, my heart would stop. Yeah. That would be the end of that. But. Phantom Dust and Phantom Crash are but backwards compatible, by the way, nice. on 360. Nice. So, Marty, you can get your mech assault on. Probably not going to do that. <laughs> what, about, what about the Phantom Menace? <laughs> da, 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 uh, dude. That was a PS1 Pod game. Racer. Oh, Pod Racer. Pod Racer was that an Xbox game? No, that was an N64 no. and PS1 game. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I just figured, I mean, we're kind of, I think everybody sooner or later is going to find themselves, all Xbox One owners are going to find themselves staring in the face of, well, I guess I gotta buy yeah. something now yeah. for more yeah. storage. So I'm just gonna keep doing the, data management. It's money on the table for Microsoft too. Like, get a if you can release a bigger hard drive or a Xbox One branded external hard drive for a decent price. Don't no. give them ideas. No, that's the Don't Actually, go back to Xbox. Somebody tweeted me that. It's fine. I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. somebody, you know, I was sort of complaining about it on Twitter. Like, oh, I'm just upset that I have to spend money at all. And somebody said, well, at least it wasn't like the 360 where you your yeah. only option was to buy a crazily overpriced proprietary yeah, hard that drive. That was a nightmare. So thank God that you can just go on Amazon and yeah. pick from 6,000 different yeah, very true. hard drives. Thank you, based Microsoft, I guess. <laughs> 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 All right, well, uh, that's it for the hard drive talk. We'll come right back and do the news. All right, gentlemen, let's do some news. There's actually a lot to cover yeah, this week. Did you bring your newsy cap? Uh, I did. This okay. week on the news. Extra, extra. Extra. <laughs> Podcast really unlocked. Action news. Germany invades Poland. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, we're just, oh, God. The Canadians from South Park now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. your friend, buddy. I'm not your friend. I'm not your buddy guy. Oh, man. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, no. It got clamped. What? Right. Are you drying clothes in I'm here? Just, got, I, it was it, in here. Are it you was putting in here. that on your nipple? What's it was going in here. On? Don't, I could put whatever I want on my nipple. You're not my <laughs> nipple dad. <laughs> None of you are my nipple dads. <laughs> well, who's your nipple dad? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> Forza! <laughs> Forza! <laughs> Do you live your life a quarter mile at a time, Marty? Oh, that doesn't even. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> That's a line from the movie. The segue doesn't make any sense. <laughs> because it's fast and furious. That was yeah. ludicrous of you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> Why are we doing this? It's because uh, there's a new Fast and Furious video game that's virtually almost 
guaranteed to be better than that last pile of trash they put that out a couple years ago. Yeah, did, did you review no, that? Yeah, I reviewed it. it. I think it I gave a mobile, it a three. Right? No, no, no. It was a video. Yeah, actually, oh, wow. when, when you first moved over from the shuttered one up to yeah. IGN, isn't that like one of the first things you did? I think that was one of the first projects I had. Welcome like, aboard. Like, review this garbage. Yeah, and I was just like, why is this happening? Why am I playing this? <laughs> why, and then why Duck Dynasty and then... Man... People so, are not having so much you go. Better <laughs> off. So get this. So this Fast and Furious game, it is a Forza game. It's a standalone expansion for Forza Horizon Two. By the way, this is not a joke. This is for real. It's not April first. Forza, although it's going to be free on April first, which, which is cool. <laughs> not not on Beyond. So oh. it. Well, I still make <laughs> ghost noises. Ghost noises were created for Beyond. Uh, were they? Uh, Forza Horizon 2 <laughs> presents Fast and Furious, a standalone expansion that uh, you'll be taking missions from Ludacris. Luda! It's Chris set Ludacris before Bridges. Fast and Furious 7, which places it, I don't know or care, on the Fast and Furious timeline. <laughs> During Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Thank you. Come on. But it's set in the south of France, which is coincidentally where Forza Horizon 2 Ooh. is. How about that? You're running missions for Ludacris. Uh, it's got a bunch of cars from the movies, mm-hmm. including uh, Vin Diesel's the diesel Charger. Mo- the Diesel Mobile. Yeah. The yeah. Supra? The was orange that like Supra? A GTO? The orange Supra. Like maybe that was, no, was the first a, That's like a very a common challenger. car that people will make, the orange Supra in like Forza or no. uh, Gran Turismo. It was, a, it was a 1993 Chevy Corsica. <laughs> no, that's not in the... <laughs> the pinnacle no. of automotive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, creativity. Yeah, 94 <laughs> Chevelle. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, yeah, this is very interesting. I mean, I first of all, this is completely out of left field. I never totally in not. a million years would have seen this coming. But actually, I think it's genius. Even though people are like, well, how, why is it genius? It's free. Uh, you don't need, and It's free, and you don't need Forza Horizon 2, so you're not even encouraging people oh, really? to buy. Oh, really? Whoa, wait, yeah, really? It's standalone. I thought I had oh, to I have Horizon know that. 2. It, you don't oh, my God. the first word of standalone. Best. Yeah. But I was going to go buy Horizon here's why, 2. Here's why I think this for is, two weeks. Here's why I think this is genius, wow. and Phil Spencer can nod along in his car right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I did that. I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, you know, Horizon 2, criminally, it, it is quite possibly one of the five best racing games ever made. Whoa. I mean, it's that good. Wow. It is... Project just Gotham? play the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, Stop one it. of the Gran Turismos is probably on that Need list. Need for Speed 2? A Burnout. A Burnout 3. Burnout. Burnout oh, 3. Yeah. Anyway. Adventure Racing. Sorry. Yeah. RC Pro Am for the NES, made by Rare. Whoa! What? what Y'all played Bomberman Tied Racing. It back in. That was tight. One of the Mario Karts. Raced sure. on the back of a rabbit. Anyway, <laughs> Horizon <laughs> Two came out at the end of September last year. Got a bunch of nines from everywhere, including IGN. Everybody that played it loved it, and then it just disappeared because it, for some reason, that game just got sucked into the ether. And yeah. No mm-hmm. one's heard from it, and it seems like we haven't seen it on any top ten sales lists. Mm-hmm. Anecdotally, it seems like. That game hasn't done well because we we even haven't forget about NPD. We haven't seen Microsoft come trumpet some press yeah, release well, that says Forza Horizon Two is sold a million or yeah. whatever. Yeah, haven't well, they don't really that. do that just in general, which makes me what super sad because again, it's so good. Not what they're like console sales and stuff. Software wise, they trumpet games when yes. they hit milestones. Yes, that's yeah. true. But uh, so I think this is brilliant because even though it's free, Fast and Furious fans that would never look at Forza will download this, play this, and go. It, wow, this is probably awesome because sure. it, it's being made by Playground. Can I get same this guys. without Ludacris? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Whatever you want. Have you, have, has anybody played it? Do you play it? No, they just announced it. Just oh, announced it was announced it. like three hours ago. How does it ago. work? Do you like drive up to Ludacris? It Ludicrous? was announced three hours ago. We don't know how this works. <laughs> the well, teaser like, trailer has two cars racing and that's the, it. The reason I'm asking is because maybe they are adding a story element. Well, you are. You're taking missions from Ludacris in a Luda. prequel to... Do you think that's where they're going to move with the future of the, seri- of the Forza no. series? No, no. I just, but I, I think it's clever because it's, it'll get people. People will try it. It's free. It's standalone. They'll play it and they'll go like, "Wow, this is really good." And it's, well, I'm gonna look into this Forza thing because yeah. it's got Forza name on it, and then maybe they'll play Horizon Two or Motorsport and they'll go like, "Holy shit, these are awesome!" Yeah. It's also coming out games. like a week or two before Fast Seven. Right. And, it's, yeah. Uh, the movie's out on the third of yeah. April. This comes out on the twenty seventh of March. Yeah. So and it's free up through. A week so, after the film, yeah, up through yeah, the 10th of April. The 10th. Yeah. And then after that, it'll be a $10 standalone download. Okay. So, I just, yeah, it's, it's, they are totally using this to try and goose interest in Forza and Horizon specifically, which I, I don't know if there's a better way they could have done it. Yeah. yeah. I this really is don't. It's so good. It's yeah. so smart. And I hope it, I hope it does generate interest because mm-hmm. Horizon's just 
So good. Looking forward to Forza Horizon 2 presents Need for Speed starring Aaron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Forza Horizon 2 presents Gran Turismo. Yeah, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting together a feature uh, on uh, what other big movies coming out in 2015 would make sense as DLC for games. For racing games? No, for games. Just oh. games in general. <laughs> hmm. uh, one of them is Every uh, movie. Paul Blart Mall Cop in The Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a big 2015 movie, is it? Yeah, Paul Blart, no, Paul Blart, uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. I just saw the trailer for it. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm 100%. not lying. So is Hot Tub Time Machine 2. That's coming to us. No, it already came out. That's out now. Oh, already, that's out now. Sorry, bombed. that's in it's theater. Probably, no, it's already out of theaters, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably already <laughs> yeah. on DVD yeah. right it now. Time traveled right it. its way out of the top ten. Telltale <laughs> Games presents Fifty Shades of Grey. I would totally... A smooching simulator. Yeah. Oh, oh, play a that smooching game. simulator. A smooching simulator. Yeah. Mooches, smooches. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have Jason Mewes on the podcast ever? Christian Grey doesn't smooch, Marty. Just so oh, know. he doesn't. Did you watch? Did you see the movie? I read the book. Oh, <laughs> you read the book? I did, yeah. Really? Th- what? Why is it so weird? I, I'm, I'm just curious. We I want to get to know Destiny. We read so the Synopsi. everybody was talking about Synopsi. it. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? So I started reading it. And I'm and like, you oh, put it I might down? as well I did it. that with Twilight. I read yeah. Twilight. We're dumb. Yeah. Were you reading it solely to try and get sex, or from? Yes, you, was it I'm like, like, if I read Fifty Shades <laughs> of Grey, I, I am going to cross my legs. <laughs> yeah, um, Sharon Stone moment. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Yeah, oh, jeez. Buffalo shot. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that a term? <laughs> what is happening? Buffalo shot. <laughs> This show. I don't, I don't want to look that <laughs> this up. The show is going to have to have a sex tag on it. I guess so. Number one Xbox podcast, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. That movie was really bad, though. We're going to hand the crown back to Major Nelson. I'm not going to watch that movie. Oh, you read the books, but you're not going to watch the movie? I read one of the books. You read the books. And that was Wait, enough. There's He's more than a trilogy. There's a, there's it's three. a trilogy. It's a trilogy. It's Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker. Yeah. And then. The f- 51st Shade. I don't remember the third one. <laughs> There's yeah. a really well, fascinating like, Gawker story about how the two leads in that movie hate each other. Really? Like how the dude is like totally going to bail on the trilogy. <laughs> like They're going to have to like recast him. I like, did not they know that. They despise That's... each so, other. Well, I heard amazing. that he gives a horrible acting performance they, anyway, I mean, the whole so. movie, everything about the movie is horrible. <laughs> There's but a cool It was Beyonce originally you... written as Twilight fan fiction. Is yeah, that yeah, true? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Don't okay. you have to, if, if, if that's true, Marty, don't, as, that, as that lead actor, whatever his name is, generic guy Jamie Doran. Yeah. Don't you kind of swallow your pride and be like, hey, this is like going to be a billion dollar trilogy just franchise. Maybe d- I should just Yeah, work. okay, I'll film another crappy 30 days and then have sex for 15 of them <laughs> and then I'll, <laughs> yeah, just take the money, dude. Oh my goodness. Uh, Forza Horizon 2. Coming, oh yeah. Yeah, fa- <laughs> Fast and Furious coming yeah. to Forza Horizon 2. That story was March pretty Horizon. unbelievable. You know what else is kind of unbelievable? That rock band and guitar hero could be coming back if this rumor is true. You say unbelievable really weird. <laughs> really? Say unbelievable. Again. You say unbelievable. There's no O in that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> off- un- you know what's off un- unbelievable? Unbelievable. Oh. How do you say it? Uh, uh, unbelievable. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. You put too much. Yeah. Unbelievable. Holy unbelievable. hell, Ryan, get us out of this <laughs> prison camp. <laughs> <laughs> Laying a course for the music game zone. Engage. <laughs> Okay. So sorry. So uh, we have rumors. <laughs> he scribbled out the time. <laughs> we have rumors in consecutive weeks. First last week, Bloomberg, a news outlet not known to screw around with hearsay. Not to be confused with Mayor Bloomberg. He probably owns it. Let's sure. not kid ourselves. Yeah. Bloomberg published a, stor- a story citing a source that said, hey, we heard a new rock band's coming out. That was literally the extent of their story. So... A source. Maybe gonna that's have. gonna. Ha- I but and then maybe that'll happen. And then uh, Kotaku this week, citing two sources. Oh, take that Bloomberg. Oh, <laughs> one ups. That says uh, a new Guitar Hero, that will be more realistic. Is Those were air quotes this year for, all the, for the audio. For most of the video, FMVs. What is a more realistic? Guitar Hero. Look I just like? told you FMVs. FMVs. <laughs> like it's like the Mark Wahlberg <laughs> but game. Did, yeah. Didn't. Uh, there was a, a music game last gen that that tried that with the way that like Rocksmith? like real slash did Rocksmith do it? no no it was it was yeah, you played a lot was it was it uh six something six no yeah something six string something six string or was it Band Fuse there was that too oh god oh, that's the same six. game Band there Fuse was, no there were two games 
One of which was Pan Fuse, the other one was something What 60s. was the Band really Fuse, bad 16. Konami one that had that crazy, ugly, hideous drum set? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, God, yeah. It was one of the first imitators. Yeah. I, oh, I downloaded that, that in like Fuse, E3 2010. It? Maybe that was. I don't know. Anyway. No, I don't thing. know. So let's just say for a minute that this, these are true. Because sure. we, don't, we don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Nobody's announced anything. But sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> How want- crazy would it be that both of these games came back at the same time? I mean, they're... <laughs> Are they both point, Activision? No. 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 Okay. Uh, I feel like there's only room for one at this point, and even then, like, I worry that if one of them came back, it'd still be like, ooh, I don't really want to go buy a new hardware. I don't really want to go to a store and buy a giant box. So having two of those out potentially at the same time competing again seems like a weird, awkward They're just going to kill each other then, basically. <laughs> right, maybe. Like... There'll be too much what on the if, market. It'll be too confusing. What if this? What if both rumors were true, but it turned out they were the same rumor? What if the families are g- going to unite like an Italian mob, and it's going to be Mom and Dad are getting back together. Guitar Hero <laughs> colon Rock Band or Rock Band colon. And it's Ooh. Pu- they- it's developed by Harmonix and published by Activision. So you got all the marketing clout of Activision, and to get all the big bands and you know push it into retail and do all the marketing, and then you've got Harmonix developing it. I think what if that were true? I would would love that. that. So that's like ideal future. There were three rock bands, right? And then they just did DLC. Well, there was also Green Day, the Beatles, ACDC, Beatles. Yeah, Green Day. Okay, there was ACDC. That was the first. Guitar Hero had seven to nine disc releases. At least there's Guitar Hero, Metallica. There's Guitar Hero one, two, and three. Van Halen, Halen, World Tour, Warriors of Rock, Lego. Oh, actually, no, Lego rock band. That was rock band, right? It was yeah. gross. It got ridiculous. Th- they were both gross, but yeah. Guitar Hero was far grosser. Battle of the grossest. Battle of yeah. the disgusting. This How this game Booger should be handled battle. is one big chunk of game, and then you download packs. And yeah, you never have doing a sequel ever end. again. Yeah. You can't do yearly but sequels. I will say, if, if Rock Band in particular comes back, I genuinely don't know if another game announcement this year would make me happier than that wow like it's that that's yeah. how much rock band means to me like i yeah, love I that love series that so much yeah there me is too. not rock band is definitely my like, favorite i love playing halo multiplayer i love playing a ton of different you know evolve multiplayer is really cool and all these things over the years but standing in the same room with three people with dumb plastic toys on your body but just Feeling like you're playing along yeah. with to uh, as a real band to mm-hmm. to music that you love creates this energy that seriously I'm not joking at all has never been replicated for me in another video game. It is a unique brand of fun yeah, it that is. I just adore to death. And if mm-hmm. if Rock Band came back, I mean Guitar Hero would be like icing on the cake. But if Rock Band came back, I would probably just freak out. Would you even care in the middle of the like office. if? Like, if the Rock Band announcement happens and you're as happy as you've ever been, yeah. would a Guitar Hero announcement even phase you? Would you care? Would you play it? I would be more curious than anything else because I'll give you my quick take on why I prefer Rock Band over Guitar Hero. I am fine with Guitar Hero, or at least as it was. Sure. Mm-hmm. Here's my here's the reason I prefer Rock Band. Because Harmonix are, are a very unique game developer. They're made up of... Harmonix is uh, a bunch of musicians who moonlight as video game developers. That's yeah. how they pay their bills. That's how they yeah. pay their rent. We're, and, and that, to me, comes through in the songs. Particularly, you know, there were plenty of songs uh, on the old rock bands and Guitar Heroes that were in both games, yeah. whether it was like a, you know, a Nirvana or a Foo Fighters or something like that. And the, to me, it was the rock band version was always more fun. It just felt... It's, it's hard to quantify. Yeah, yeah. Just the, the it was way, like more intuitive. It, like, yeah, I know. it just sort of felt exactly what you're better. Talking about. It just yeah, felt yeah. better mm-hmm. to me. And, so, and whereas on the Guitar Hero side, which, quick history lesson, Harmonix invented Guitar Hero. Mm-hmm. Then Activision bought it and Red Octane <clears throat> kicked Harmonix to the curb. Harmonix said, F you, we're going to do this better. And they <laughs> invented Rock Band, and then Guitar Hero had to copy them. So it was a whole weird yeah, yeah. Uh, just incestual thing. Who would even make Guitar Hero? Right well, now. and that's that's actually Activision to my owns point, it, right? They yes. do. They yeah. 100% own it. So. They closed Red Octane, which were the mm. company that made the hardware, yep. which yeah. was now Guitar Hero pretty much universally people agreed had the better quality hardware. Yeah. Uh, okay. As far as the particularly yeah. on the guitar side. A lot of people would use 
those yep. tools. Yeah, I never liked the Rock Fortunately, Band guitar. they were cross compatible. Yeah. Yeah. You could use any mm -hmm. instrument in yeah. any game. But yeah, to finish my point, the reason so harmonics made up of musicians moonlighting as game developers, whereas Guitar Hero became, you know, it was a, it was video game developers trying to make a video game about music, yeah. which wasn't necessarily a bad thing. But just compared to how Rock Band felt, I always pref I always could sort of feel that. Yeah, yeah. you can also in see the it in, the, in the presentation of the game. Like aside from playing it, there's a celebratory tone to Rock Band that right. doesn't really exist in Guitar Hero, and I just I love that. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, that circles back to your point, Mitch. Is who the heck would do it? Because I I will say NeverSoft was tasked with Guitar yeah. Hero previously, and to their credit, I think by the end, before the whole thing crashed. Neversoft got pretty good. They were like doing Guitar, a good job. Guitar Hero Metallica was really oh, good. It was really yes, it was really that one good. was really good. But yeah, so but Neversoft is gone. They've been assimilated into uh, Infinity Ward. How insane would it be if it was that team? It's but not. they called There's it IW. <laughs> like IW is on Infinity Ward. Guitar Hero. Yeah. 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 Well, that won't happen. No. But yeah, you're so. It's Call of Duty. So like the, Easter that, eggs. that would be the concern for me if Rock Band is in fa or if Guitar Hero is in fact real again is. Yeah. Are we just back to square one on a video game maker making a video game that's trying to be about music? As opposed to, whereas Harmonix, if this rock band thing is real, it's, oh, we're right back in business. It's these musicians are making a game yeah. about mu a music game again. I'm still, I'm, I'm really curious sort of what hasn't been done with these games that could still be done. That's I a mean, fair there point. are still Very like, there's still a couple white whales in terms Rhythm of Rhythm like, guitar? I mean, but it's still like, has Zeppelin ever been one of these games? No, like, no. there's still a couple of those they white whales. They made a rock band led Zeppelin and it got canceled. Oh, really? Yeah. What? That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. they showed it at PAX a couple of years ago. They had, it wasn't like, no, they uh, didn't. What are you talking games. about? Yeah, yeah, they went, like, they, <laughs> it was never licensed. Like, they just made it. Oh, I see. Oh. And they had it, and they were like, hey, uh, Jimmy Page, can we do this? And he's like, <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> but it looked awesome. Like, I mean, that would have sold probably as much or more than Beatles, just yeah. because that sort of connects directly with the rock band audience. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they were hoping Beatles was going to cast a huge net, and it just, that game hit, like, two years too late. Yeah. yeah. But, so, yeah, we'll see. I mean, here, here's my how other much, thought. Sorry, go, ahead. go ahead. No, no. I was you gonna go. say how much is the new bundle gonna cost? Perfect. Okay. I love you <laughs> for paying attention. Good segment. And or just being intuitive, whichever one it is. I'll give He's you credit lucky. either way. Yeah. Lucky. Lucky. Better to be lucky <laughs> than good. Yeah. There right? you go. I mean, the holy grail, of course, is can you even bring either of these games back without your hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars of DLC being yeah. compatible? Can you really start over with these games? Mm. And if somehow they make the... Cause sadly, we've all been conditioned to expect the worst sure. in games these days. Yeah. Like, oh, it would be great if all the DLC from that I bought last gen were compatible, but come on. These are yeah. money-hungry companies. There's no way that's It's happening. also probably a licensing issue. That, in too. In reality, it's like that's got to be mean, a legal the, nightmare. The, the record companies, yep. all that stuff. But if that did happen, if the DLC were somehow... Magically compatible. So it comes back and you get everything you already bought. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. If that were the case, I'm saying because mm -hmm. that's that's the again that's there's, I'd, I'd put the chances of that at slim because again yeah. it's just like it, if it sound as we found in video game the video game business these days. Sadly, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably yeah. is. But if that did happen, if you're Microsoft, like a lot of people have jumped ship from 360 to PS4. I mean, that's just reality. Oh, yeah. It was reality. I mean, that's I'm not hating on Xbox yeah. One. That's just a lot of people have have made the switch. But you got to figure the DLC would probably be would probably isn't going to follow you from One, Xbox yeah. to PlayStation yeah. because it's not like you had a Rock Band account the way you have a, a Rockstar account and you can transfer your GTA 5 online yeah, yeah. 360 guy to PS4. Yeah. You know, it was tied to your Xbox, Xbox. Live profile or PSN so profile. Yeah. I wonder uh, if maybe you know if you're what? Microsoft. Sorry, I had a thought on yeah, that. Yeah, go ahead. Grand Theft Auto did it. You could switch just platforms said. once. Well, you but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that was that. a Rockstar deal. Like, because yeah. it was all done through Rockstar's servers, yeah, 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 whereas yeah, Rock right, Band right. was done through Sorry. platforms. And what I was going to say was, for all to, you know, if if that happened, people go, oh, man, that's super rad, but, oh, man, I switched to PS4 this gen, so that yeah. super sucks for me. If you're Microsoft, how about a $500 Xbox One Rock Band bundle? Yeah. That's, uh, you know, 
the system plus the new plastic instruments, oh, God. and then you can bring in all your like. Wouldn't that sell systems for Microsoft? <laughs> yeah, right? I'm just. I, think and, I mean, Sony too, but I feel like I'm coming from a selfish place because I associate uh, Rock Band and Guitar Hero with like my time in college when we actually had a, a living room. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas now, like I, I literally don't have space yeah. for instruments in my I life. Have neighbors. And I don't now, have space like, in my well, life. Like I would love to have this set up in the office. And we I feel will. like that that's one of the reasons that you sort of that that it hit so hard with you because you were I mean you were already, you were we, probably at OXM. Yeah, when we, these we, games were we literally took a storage closet. Yeah. A storage closet full of peripherals and garbage. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a day cleaning it out. Yeah. I soundproofed it with the same crap that's on our walls, the yeah. foam yeah. stuff. Put in a flat screen TV yep. on a stand, surround sound speakers, and a drum stool. Yeah. And we turned it into a rock band. That's, room. Oh, that's it was the, the greatest best. thing ever. That is the best. We would just go in there and have a good time. Yeah. And nobody and be, nobody else would be the wiser. It's yeah. fantastic. It's, yeah. All right. I'm ready for that. Mitch is looking at me like, where can we do that here? Yeah. This yeah. Happens. How, much How is... about this room? We don't need to podcast anymore, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's not a thing we need to do. This room's yeah. the perfect size. It's yeah. so hot. Oh, my gosh. It's, yeah. It's hard it for me to imagine now buying plastic instruments again. Like having to buy a new set for the new console. Well, and that I've got to figure there's no way that happens because, like, first of all, the 360 and the Xbox One use completely different wireless communication protocols. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Microsoft has never allowed something from like an old gen thing, like a controller or anything else, to work on the new thing. Yeah. Because they just want to sell new plastic junk. Do you still have your instruments? My drums broke last weekend. Uh, <laughs> that's inconvenient. Well, my, so, <laughs> every, every pawn shop has 300 sets I know. of those drums. My, well, so. my wife and kid were out of town, so yeah. I, I had a bachelor weekend, house to myself, and the drums are loud. Even if you're playing the game oh, with yeah. headphones, yeah, it's like, the actual sound of hitting the drums. Yeah, that's basically what it is. So it's like, it you know, I can't really play it at night when they're, you know, so when they were gone, I'm like, I'm busting out rock band. <laughs> Here we go. Played for two hours one night, like an hour and a half the next night before... Bram, yellow, yellow pad, yeah. toast, done. Nothing I could do about it. I love so. the idea that it's like whiplash where like your hands are just bleeding. You know? <laughs> your drumsticks are just covered in blood. Someone's screaming at you. J.K. Simmons yeah. just comes in and starts yelling at me <laughs> like, why is this happening? Whoa, J. Jonah Jameson, relax. I'll go photograph oh, Spider-Man. Also, just how, did, how did you get into my house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. but Whiplash uh, humor. <laughs> <laughs> what if it uses connect only? Just kidding. That's not Stop. happening. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Patented Marty vomit yep, sound that was a, that was a, yeah. yeah, I didn't even have to do it. You just air strum. But yeah. So air it's Connect 2.0. Hero. Hero, what is that? It's Connect 2.0. It's better. I really hope no one from Activision or Harmonix <laughs> is listening to this show. They're not going to do that. So we're excited if this is if these yeah, are real. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they do differently. I'm excited how they, if both are real, how they are different from each other. Yeah. yeah, like both studios making these games, like with enough time away from it, what have you done to like one up each other? Yeah, yeah. And I, I wonder, I mean, the the Guitar Hero thing on Kotaku, they suggested that it was going to be announced at E3. That would make a ton of sense yep. for both of them, really. Yep. Like, God, both I wonder if E3, that'd be weird. I wonder if like you know Microsoft were if Rock Band's real Rock Band, they get announced on the Microsoft stage and. Uh, what if they're platform guitar? exclusive? That would be awful. Oh my god! <laughs> and also not <laughs> happen. Be a death knell instantly. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, the Wii U gets uh, Obo Hero. Bloop 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 No, they have Wii music. They're like? good. I don't know so, what Obo sounds sorry, like. Sorry, that was the the passion of the rock band <laughs> slash guitar hero segment. Uh, shall we move on? Yeah, yes, we, we went pretty long on that one. We did. Come on, you can do I it, wa- buddy. I wonder what. That game will be rated. I bet it won't oh, get an Jesus M rating. Christ. I don't know. Oh. I didn't have anything. You're supposed to prepare. You spend all segments zoning out so that you can come right back with ex- the perfect I was segment. too excited about rocking out. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Batman's getting an M rating. Batman oh, Arkham Knight is getting an M rating. I love the this this breakout segment has just started with if you're Destin's li- just dead Destin's dead Let's, let's yeah. all try our best in- intro then. Well, we have nothing. A, we have Nobody a show to has do. anything. To Dustin's point, yes, Batman. You can't spell Batman without the letter L. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that wasn't bad. That was better. That was. I like that. That's better than yours. Yeah. The ESRB has rated Batman Arkham Knight mature, which is 17 plus, which means it's probably full of blood and nudity and profanity. 
So a, Batman, a, just a starts, this is where Batman is just like, all right, I'm going to start killing people. <laughs> <laughs> because in the other games, when I've punched everyone in the head using iron fists, they haven't died. But now they will. <laughs> well, now well, you can in, run them over in your Batmobile in the, with and, pillow yeah. tires. <laughs> in the 1989 <laughs> Tim Burton film, I mean, he does. Uh, just, he kills he, a man. He just lets, yeah, and he just lets, uh, I mean, the Batmobile has like high caliber machine guns on it. Yeah. He drops Jack Napier into a vat of chemicals. In Arkham drops City, drops him off a building. I think he was a jerk. In Arkham City, somebody gets knocked off the tower and impaled. Whoa! <laughs> like on a, a fence, like a oh, metal fence, right. and he's impaled. And that game didn't well, get an M. That actually, yeah, that's perfect because it's the fact that I was actually I was put off by this news only because I I had thought Arkham City was rated M. Because if you finished Arkham City, the end of that violent. game gets dark. Yeah. yeah. Like, the end of that game is seriously it's dark. It's pretty consistently dark throughout. It's just like, hey, the criminals own this town, and there are no happy civilians, and there are bodies in the streets, mm-hmm. and it's really messed up. So, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to think, like, what's going to make this game an M, because it's not going to be what Batman does, because they're not going to make the character sure. a murderer. I mean, the, right. the premise dark of this night. game is that the Scarecrow is trying to destroy Gotham with gas. Like, yeah. he's got a poison where he's trying to kill everybody in the city. Pretty yeah. dark premise. Like, I could see a moment where it's like, no matter what you do, you fail that mission. And sure. And hundreds of thousands of people do die. Sure. And you have to deal with that fallout. Also, okay, so Oracle's in the game. Yes. And she's Barbara Gordon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is she in a wheelchair Spoiler. already? Yes, she is in a wheelchair. Okay. Because yeah. I was going to say, like, if they're oh, going to go insane, they're going to, like, go the killing Joker out. I mean, obviously, Joker probably can't be in it. That's and already happened. Joker's in the game, obviously. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. He, so he if they dies do something like our, that. Uh, well, yeah, it's statute of limitations. Don't worry about Whatever. it. Whatever. But I, I guarantee I would. Yeah. You and I, I maintain that he I'll, is I'll, the Arkham. I'll make a five guys bet that. Screw your in and out bet. Five <laughs> guys. I don't even like five <laughs> we guys. We have to drive all the way like to San guys. Bruno <laughs> for that. <laughs> I don't like five guys. Uh, I'll bet you a five. Never mind. I, uh, like five I guys. think the Joker is going to be in this game. I agree. I don't. I initially said he's going to be the Arkham Knight, but I don't think that's true because that no. dude got like jets and stuff. I haven't seen the new trailer yet. He's got jets and stuff. We can talk about that off camera, I guess. What? So if you what? do, I don't want to spoil anything. If you are you annoyed by Destin's spoiler, yeah. make sure to direct your tweets at Destin Laguerre. Yeah, sorry, not everybody. to me, not to Mitch. Not also, to if you haven't beat Arkham City yet, go beat Arkham City. Arkham City know. came out what two years ago? Oh, more, more than years three than years ago. Yeah, yeah. So sorry for ruining a three-year-old ending for you. I try not to. Guy, tried not to. This guy's life is a three year old and angry today. <laughs> <laughs> he is I, angry. I tried not to ruin it. You literally said <laughs> the ending of the I tried not to ruin it. The Joker died. <laughs> Tried not I to ruin didn't it, guys. say that. I tried not I to said, ruin well, it. He di- uh... Guys, I'm trying not to ruin the sixth sense, but Bruce Willis is dead the whole time. <laughs> I'm trying not to ruin uh, Half Blood Prince, but Dumbledore dies. Snape kills him. Try not to ruin it. Try not to ruin Empire Strikes Back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for trying so hard. Buddy. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. your efforts. I'm oh, excited man. for this video so, game. It's, yeah. Uh, comes out on my birthday. But it's good to see. Nice. Uh, well, the bigger point here, though, is I believe this is the first Batman video game to ever be rated Sure. Down. And as far as I know, it's the first Batman thing. Anything uh, non anything in motion yeah. to be rated uh, M or R. R. Yeah, because obviously the graphic novels have gone to some dark places or in yep. comics. But, but as far as TV, movies, games, uh, inter, you know, I don't think Batman's ever gotten here before. The Adam so. West show wasn't rated <laughs> in uh, the mature. in the the current Scott Snyder run of. Batman, Joker uh, cuts off his own face and wears his face stapled to his face. That's what? Yeah. That's That seems foolish that you would cut off your own face and then decide to wear your face. Yeah. Because you were already wearing your face. <laughs> you want to know He's where crazy. I got these scars. That was pretty good, actually. <laughs> he does a, yeah. He does every that now and again. Every now and yeah, again. Yeah, spoiler warning, Joker's crazy. <laughs> that's that's so not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Uh, so, yeah. Let's, uh, that game's out in June. Yeah. Uh, I, that is, is it? It's practically guaranteed to be the best game of the summer because it's what probably the only happening? game coming out in the summer. Uh, I, it's so it's super rare. I, don't know why for, I made a cow noise. It is super rare for a big AAA <laughs> game like that to hit in the summer, though. It's yeah, become more it. and more. It's uh, God. What was last year? Two How years ago was The Last of Us. Last year was there was a game. That's Red true. You're right. Last of Us. That's right. Transistor. Transistor was May. I thought there was an actual like AAA game that came out right around E3. Maybe I don't know. I believe you. I'm gonna look it up. Alan Wake and Red Dead both came out in May. Those were May sure. games. games, so not quite. Never mind. I don't know Shall we move on? Out. Yeah. Uh, speaking of television, not really. I, I do, don't have. A it's good better. One for Just this. move on. Yeah. Speaking of people that wear armor, what? 
Jesus Christ, Dustin. <laughs> there's a, a Halo 5 What do TV. you got? Allegedly, there was a... I'm just going to read the news. That's yeah, I'm just going to just do my job here. Allegedly, mm-hmm. there was a Halo 5 TV commercial image leak uh, that looks pretty convincing. Don't know if it's for a Halo 5 thing or if it's maybe from the Spielberg TV series. Is something yeah, did, what did you guys? What do you guys think from looking at it? I think that totally looks like every Halo commercial we've ever yeah, seen, right. but now with Locke. Yeah, right. That was so cool you, looking. You think TV commercial yeah. rather than uh, the Spielberg thing? I'm sure it'll be like an ominous, wordless, like Master Chief blown up into those rocks against that wall. Lock looming over him, being intimidating. Halo five. That'll like that'll be it. Halo five. I'm really not lo- not liking this lock focus of every Halo thing. It's very I've seen. strange. Yeah. I'm like, Pod- I care about Master podcast D locked. <laughs> but at least lock. I don't know. To me, Lock has a personality because Chief yep. never had a, really a personality. Even it was in like four, one, four to me, game yeah. that was yeah. the goal of the design of the game, though, is to not give him a strong personality, so you identify more with the character. But no, that was like that was what. I don't know, it's the Morgan Freeman. Oh, fuck. What? The, the Gordon Freeman approach. Morgan. <laughs> it's the Gordon Freeman approach, which I don't I necessarily agree with because I, I don't put myself you. in the shoes of someone who just murders everything. Yep. It was like, the same thing with like Corvo in Dishonored. Yeah. We wanted to make him wordless so that you could, you know, apply. No, that's lazy. Also, You're I not a totally want Half Life with Morgan Freeman now. He did. <laughs> the gravity gun. That was bad. He could, be, he could be Eli. Oh, wait. He doesn't say anything. He, Gordon Freeman has never uttered a word. That's Correct. the thing. What and if, yet, him and Alex are able to fall in love. Like, what is possibly interesting <laughs> about Gordon not Freeman? not even a thing that happened. That's just fan fiction. No, they're totally in love. No. Him and Alex? Nah. I've been misreading this situation. <laughs> <laughs> no, they... Maybe are, she's like, oh, she I'm crushing on him. that scientist. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a respect thing. Crushing on your scientist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Destin, what do you think of that <laughs> image? Uh... I haven't seen TV it. or <laughs> yeah. you had to think on it first. Yeah. I was like, do I just come out clean or do I try and fake it? No, yeah. I haven't seen the image. Man, it was crazy. The, 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 the foreground and the background. Still, still hate lock. <laughs> those details. Yeah. You guys see those props? Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was anyway, cool. Uh, um, I don't think. I don't even know if the, the Spielberg series has started. I don't think shooting? it's a production. I think they would announce it if they had, unless yeah. they're just trying to do it in total secrecy to avoid leaks like this. Yeah. Maybe. But that is actually, that's the one thing I wanted to bring up is we haven't heard a peep about the Spielberg thing since they closed down the whole Xbox TV, TV thing division. and yeah. just said, well, we're still making the Halo TV series. Everything else can. Yeah. Over. Yeah. So you got to figure, what if... Our theory about Halo Five releasing in September is correct. You got to figure that that show then is going to air in August, right? If it's going to be like yeah, a month, five, before. six, more, multiple part thing. It is a prequel series, right? I I think so, but I don't even uh, know if they've said. I don't think it's going to be a thing. I don't, don't think. I don't want to be the pessimist. No, I don't. I and I certainly don't think it'll be before Halo Five. No. No. Um, I mean, if it is still a thing, I, th- I think it'll be after. I would, I'd be willing to bet this was a live, like a rad live action commercial. What would yeah. you be willing to bet, Mitch? I am <laughs> going to throw away your dumb Dota sippy cup. <laughs> uh, Watch Dogs was the game I was thinking of last year. Came out right at the end of May. That's right. Oh yep. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. After many a delay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, a couple quick hits here. World of Tanks coming to Xbox One. That's yep. good news. If you've been playing on 360, it's free to play. So just download it, start going, and it's uh, cross-platform play with 360. So you can keep playing. If you oh, that's on, cool. Yeah, you can keep if your friends haven't upgraded and you do, you can keep playing with them. So that's that's awesome. good news. Var gaming and other MMO news. Uh, Neverwinter is on its way to Xbox One. They had a public beta weekend mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago, which we had a story on uh, some hands-on Im- impressions. This actually led me to. A discussion point I wanted to bring up with you guys, because first, Elder Scrolls Online, we've got that coming without a monthly fee now to th- to Xbox One in... Actually, that's June, too. Woo. And then and now Neverwinter on March 31st, if you want to play more. But, uh, you know, it's it's interesting that we finally... Were, the, the MMO floodgates, after years on Xbox, seem to finally be opening. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we had... There was, uh, at one point... Vanguard was supposed to come out yeah. for Xbox One. Uh, True Fantasy Live. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, let's see, what were some of the other? There was the what was the Marvel one? You guys uh, know what I'm talking Mar- about? The one that gazillions. Did? No, was no, that, way back in the day. I think this like, one didn't even come out. Maybe it didn't even come oh. out. But there was a Marvel I MMO, like Mar- oh, Marvel one. Universe Online. I think is what it was called. Really? For Xbox I think one, it must right. have just. Uh, this is actually for 360 oh, way okay. back in the day. Hmm. But point being, yeah, we've been sort of. 
there have been an MMOs announced for Xbox platforms for years and years, and virtually none of them came out other than like Final Fantasy XI. Yeah. So uh, why? Why? Why now? I don't know. I mean, I think it's it's the sort of ubiqu- ubiquitous online nature of consoles. Uh, is you know more consoles are online now than ever, so it sort of makes sense to me in that regard. Um, I'm still waiting for the one that proves itself, like an MMO that's yeah. as big on consoles as one is on right. PC. C- could like, Elder Scrolls be maybe, that game? Because no. I mean, <laughs> well, but Elder Scrolls really is huge so. on console. On, uh, yeah, as as a franchise, not yeah, but ESO is not. Yeah, but I mean, but maybe, it's not out yet. Yeah, it is on PC. No, but it's to, to consoles, like Skyrim was so huge sure. on consoles. Like maybe those console yeah. players who don't but care this, about PC but this games really isn't Skyrim. Yeah, and but that if you was could like market it that way, you could sure. trick people. But I don't know. It's been long. It's been out long enough on PC where it's not really getting traction, where people don't really like it. That it's doing I, all right though. It's doing fine. It's not well the, enough to maintain a subscription fee, which yeah. they had to get rid <laughs> of. Bingo is so, never sorry. No, no, no. I was just like continuing the point. Like I just don't think that that's going to be enough to carry ESO for however long on consoles. Is Neverwinter the one that was originally going to be PlayStation exclusive, and now it's not because that company got sold? No, 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 no. That was, that, those you're are the Sony Online. That's yes, like, you're thinking no, Planet that Side. Was, and that's that's Planet Side and EverQuest next. next and EverQuest H one Z one. Yeah, Hizzy. those are SOE games. Hizzy. Hmm. I don't know. One thing Microsoft should do is like loosen up the cross platform play. I think both companies should and allow I think that they will. to happen. Like you're going to see a lot more of that with Windows 10, right? Like we see already. You see Fable as a cross platform thing. But right? you, are you talking about? PS4 are you talking Xbox about one. PC or are you talking oh, about PS4? Well, PC has to happen. That should be yeah. happening. I would like to see PS4 and Xbox well, and, be able to play together. Uh, Final Fantasy XI did do that. Yes. You'd, yeah. You could play oh, with wow. PS, PS2. PS2 players, yeah. 360 players, PC, and PC. Yeah, yeah. You could, mm. Everybody was yeah. in yeah. the same world, yeah, which it, was cool. God, it is really crappy that when a game like Destiny comes out that the office is like well I don't know which one to get it on like I don't like who am I going to play with that kind of thing that it can't just be like y'all can play with everyone like it doesn't matter buy buy yeah. a PS4 yeah, buy an Xbox one just like you're able to play with your friends other than the marketing mm-hmm. deals yeah. where PS4 gets exclusive Destiny sure. content there's seemingly no reason why yeah a, an Xbox one player couldn't play with a PS4 yeah. player to, in Destiny well, keep people on your platform I guess it's insane that well, I, right I'm, but I'm, you're, I'm you're gonna tell your technical friend. reason. Oh, yeah. That's actually no why reason. I did not play Destiny is because I was like, well, if I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna get it on Xbox One because I don't have a PlayStation Four. Yeah, everyone's playing on PlayStation. Guess I won't play Destiny. Yeah, yeah it's weird though. There's it certain sucks. like I think Jose is like running two different ca- parallel characters on oh, me like too. On, yeah. on both consoles in yeah. order to like keep up with like that's madness. Yeah, that is I have insanity. one on the other platform because a lot of people are like, let's play on Xbox. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. have anything on Xbox, so yeah. I built one, you know? Yeah, the, the only thing I can think of, I wonder with about MMOs finally coming to Xbox is, because for years, all these MMOs would get announced for Xbox, but then economics always got in the way, whereas, you know, they all had they all had subscription fees, sure. and Microsoft would be like, well, it's on our, it's in our walled garden of Xbox Live, so we want a cut of the subscription fee. But now that basically ga- MMOs have gotten to the point where, 99% of them don't have subscription fees and they're just mm-hmm. free to play after you purchase the game. That sort of political barrier is out of the way. So I wonder if that's really all it is. It's just, okay, well, now that there's no weird backroom deal that has to be worked out, yeah. sure, put your MMO out on our console. Yeah. I don't think point. those companies would ever agree to that, unfortunately. Well, they didn't. That was the yeah. point. Yeah. They ne- that's why we never got I don't MMOs. think they ever will. Yeah. Well, but a moot sad. point now, which mm-hmm. is the good news. So. Uh, yeah, if you're an MMO player, looks like the Xbox One might finally start to become a viable option for uh, for that genre. Mm-hmm. What else, Destin? Some pretty big news. Grand Theft Auto Online heists are finally coming. They have a date of March you. 10th. Yep, that's it. That's are we news. are we that's believing it. it? Are we believing? I mean, <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's so, the PC version just got delayed again. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I, 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 March tenth seems close enough to it's where like two weeks away. There's like, yeah, like, it's, it's too it's close. To done, yeah, done. Through it's yeah, too it's, close to delay. Yeah, no, they're like Marty said, they are through cert. These are done. So these are ready. the bigger yeah. question is, and I, again, I'm not trying to sound pessimistic, but <clears> it it has genuinely been. It's they are 18 months late, or at least since the, the since the, the release. Yeah, the last one. 18 months. Do you still care? I, I mean, in as much as I am not going to play GTA V, no. But I think it is exciting, and I think the mission structure is awesome. Uh, everything they've talked about sounds great. Like, it is a lot of content. The heists take a long time. And they're free. And I think they're that, free. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, you just get them. That's awesome. And I think that the delay benefited that, right? Like, if, if Heist had come out when they were announced, they would not be this big. They would not right. be as ambitious and complex as they surely will be. Also, there's a reason Rockstar games are so, like, critically acclaimed, and, and it's because they don't rush things. Very true. And, I mean, it's for all of us who... You can't complain about this being 18 months late and in the same breath complain about the handful of games last fall that launched, you know, with sort of... They have certain aspects broken. Very if, true. If yeah. you look back, Grand Theft Auto Online launched broken. And I mm-hmm. don't think they don't want to make that mistake again. So, yeah, they'll delay it as long as they need to because yep. they want to launch it and they want it to launch correctly. Mm-hmm. Yep. So just... You know. This is going to be the the all... Four versions Correct. plus PC when it comes yes. out. So this is going to be, if, even Everything. if you have it on 360 and PS3, uh-huh. they're still going to be there. That's cool. Yeah, I, but I, I'm i very curious about these on uh, because on paper they sound amazing. They're supposed to be like hours long yeah. with tons of replayability because there's, uh, you know, one one person plays the, the leader, yeah. the guy who fronts all the money and sets up the job, and then everybody else, they're Has sort like of specific customized. Roles. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm very, if these pan out, man, it's going to be like, uh, like payday, except in a giant, crazy, amazing open the world. world. Yeah, like how awesome! Would I also that love be? the idea of like Destin becoming a legendary heist driver. Like everyone's yeah. like, "Man, we got to get Destin." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, that, you you find like, your specialty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually that's really cool. cool. Like, oh yeah, you know, or Marty's a wicked sniper. We need him for our mission to get yeah, on the yeah, rooftops yeah. He's in the ch- and take yeah. out the yeah. 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 And there are people we... that are just really good at sniping, and you'll yep. want those people on your team. That's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, finally, in the news this week, the March Xbox One March system update has hit preview members. So if you're in the preview program, I just want to run down this real quick because there's actually a lot this month. Screenshot sharing. Screenshots are here, finally. Finally. And what I like about this, it's simple. All you got to do is double tap the Xbox jewel button mm-hmm. or say Xbox take a screenshot if yep. you've got connect. So I like that. The upload app is updated, so you can manage screenshots mm-hmm. in addition to game clips. So that's uh, just had to happen. Suggested friends is cool. It's like they can't hurt, right? If more Friend friends, yeah, more yeah, it's interesting so, people to play like with. Friends with Ryan, it's like Destin? Twitter and yeah, and Facebook, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sharing uh, new ways to share your real name, which is always good. Uh, to give control over that. So security number sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Tile transparency, uh, just so if your background images, it's always you know, customization there. Privacy online stuff, and then reporting spam. This has been nice. a problem nice. Nice, 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 on the Xbox uh, One and on Xbox Live. People just getting spammed. Yeah, with so garbage. stop sending so me that crap. Everybody. You can now easily <laughs> report that. Second. I think it's specific. People getting all these it friend requests from listeners. No, no, no. Come on. I get What's like all these get, beautiful no, women. Here's who keep what I get. To friend me. I get yeah. Amazon gift card. Get this Amazon gift Sick. card. Yeah. I get that often. Free Congrats. money, dude. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Can you yeah, no. some Amazon gift card? <laughs> buy, buy fruit by the foot for the office. <laughs> <laughs> put it next to our desks. How much fruit by the foot can you fit in your mouth at once? F- I could fit f- uh, fruit by the 10 feet. You I could go. probably fit 10. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a fruit by the foot off. <laughs> <laughs> I smell another bet. <laughs> do we have to eat it? Because I don't want to do that. Don't be a baby. <laughs> Technically, no. it's not edible because it's not food. <laughs> Shall it's, we? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's caulking material. <laughs> All right, uh, Mitch. What can we spend our money on this week? Dynasty Warriors Eight Empires is out on Xbox One. That's, That's the you're mispronouncing. It's Dynasty Warriors. Dina- <laughs> Dynasty Warriors Eight <laughs> Empires is out on Xbox One for fifty bucks. That's the the yearly expansion for whatever version came out that year. Typically adds like a strategic territorial control thing. Uh, on digital, we have Roundabout on Xbox One for fifty bucks. So that game bucks. is awesome. So fun. tell me about that it. Game Roundabout. Is the it's like you're Kate Welch and you drive a limo. Yeah, it's like <laughs> cr- you're, so you're a limo driver. It's like a top it's down okay. version. It's like a top I'm down a limo version. Driver. <laughs> it's a top down version of Crazy Taxi, but your car keeps spinning in circles. Yeah, but also moving forward, and you try to like navigate these puzzles where you're like, well, my car keeps spinning, and so I have to either go over this ramp or wait until I'm at a certain angle in order to get through this. It's you yeah, have to like turn corners while your car is spinning, and you're like drifting, and, and it's really great. And it has really these cool. like FMV cutscenes that it's like a bunch of people. In industry but it's really funny and tongue-in-cheek like it realizes how silly it is i yeah. played that game not knowing anything about it and i was like this is all of my seattle friends in a video game yeah. what's happening <laughs> yeah it is really why weird. is steve like yeah. awkwardly on a date in the backseat of this yeah. car it's like, really what it's funny it's silly um it's yeah it's a lot of fun uh sweet I definitely recommend it check that out yep. it's it's really goofy light-hearted lots of fun uh blue estate which i think is an adventure game is that the julian assange game <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a, i don't know uh the x for 10 i literally bucks. don't know what blue estate is 
Uh, we should maybe look that up. I'm going to look it up. I'm a, I'm right. a Wikipedia. Scream Ride demo on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Pick that up. Scream Ride is awesome. I really, I really like it. it, too. Yeah. Games of Gold for February is still going on. It's so out uh, for real next week. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, during which and then Ori the week BBC. after, oh my which I'm reviewing. Oh. So I haven't got it yet, but... Yes. Games of Gold for February is still iDarb on Xbox One and Sniper Elite V2 on 360. A couple Marty, more days for that. Yeah, Act get now. Get those. And then uh, on that note, real quick... This isn't confirmed, although knowing this, sh- it will probably will be by the time the show airs. But uh, there was a leaf a leak spotted on NeoGAF, probably accurate because it came off of Microsoft website. Yep. Of the March games, hit me. So we, we got to predict because we might know them. Tomb Raider and Bioshock Infinite for 360. Damn, that's those really are good awesome. Month. I've yeah. finished both of those games and they're phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. This next game is even better. And then uh, on Xbox One, iDarb again. Please, please, everyone, they're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. Play yeah. And uh, a little bigger deal than that as far as higher profile would be our friend Rayman Legends. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love that Free. game. Yeah. That's not That's right. platformless. Yeah. 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 On, on yes. Xbox One? Yeah. yeah. On Xbox One. What? Yeah, that's really good. Oh, my God. That's Download a really, that that's a really good list. That Bioshock. Download yeah. all four of those games. They're yeah. great. Um, going back to Blue Estate. Yep. If this is the same Blue Estate that was on PS4, we reviewed it in June, uh, gave it a three, oh. <laughs> which is awful. Uh, Blue Estate is a by-the-numbers rail shooter with gameplay that's just as outdated as its social politics. The plus, responsive controls. Oh. The minus, <laughs> not funny, artlessly offensive, repetitive gameplay, levels drag on. Artlessly levels offensive. Levels drag on. <laughs> The levels, levels, the levels drag. The levels drag. You mean <laughs> who like wrote, in, who uh, wrote the review? You mean oh, like in True Crime that. One, where there's a freaking dragon for yeah. no reason? Yeah. And what the reason, is happening? The reason is that Michael? dragons. Michael. It's a realistic it was, open world uh, Grand Theft Auto club. Vincent Genito? I've heard of him. <laughs> I've heard of that guy. Um, so evidently, don't spend your ten on that, but spend your fifteen on Rune de Boot. Rune de Boot. <laughs> yeah, it's Canadian. It's a Canadian one. <laughs> where you apologize to everyone every time your taxi hits. So yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, eh? Sorry, then Sorry, Mitch hey, can't get his we visa. Should, we should move on because right. we're over time. Yeah, we are uh, moving along here. We'll be right back with a little trivia. I'm going to give away that Battletoads t-shirt that I was wearing last Is week. Is this a Battletoads question? Yes, it's going to be. <laughs> it's for you, Marty, and it's right after I this. I know the answer, too. <laughs> All right, let's finish strong with the Unlock Block trivia segment where uh, we have a winner of the extreme, the rare, rare t-shirt. Get it? Rare as the rare, rare, hard rare, to find. Wearable. Rare software Rare wearable. Company. Yeah. The rare, 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 wearable. But say that ten times uh, fast. Don't. And our winner for that is a gentleman by the name of Michael Kaiser. He's from Blacksburg, Virginia. He is a massive Battletoads fan, so I'm glad Good he man. got this. Good man. Michael. You and I are friends, <laughs> and Marty and I are no Michael. longer friends. Michael, so Michael, Michael. here we go. Let's make this quick. Let's extend Marty's pain. I can't wait till this. I hope I'm sitting next to you in the IGN war room at E3 when, when this game they announce that announced. game. Where's Marty? And you just hear vomiting. Can we actually <laughs> let's put a camera on Marty <laughs> during the Microsoft just during, press conference in the war room? What actually, if... better yet, can you be in the crowd? Can we send you to ah, in you my just place? Hear screaming and yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> like Love a it. bunch of people are like, yeah, and one guy's like, no. I, I, there's a Kanye moment where I go and I grab the mic from Phil. I'm like, Phil, I'm going to let you finish. But Banjo-Kazooie is the greatest rare property of all time. <laughs> I will give you $1,000. I will somehow, I will crowdfund the money. You should problem. actually do this. Crowdfund the money. You should 100% do yes. this, Marty. Can I get fired? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that $1,000 will go a long way. Just call Phil. <laughs> One month of rent. Send him an email. All right. Make it a bit. Good to go. So, uh, Michael Kaiser asks, gentlemen, which of these is not the name of a battle toad? Quality. So three of these are... <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> you stop <laughs> Is it... Uh, so three of these are real, one of them's not. Rash, boil, zits, or pimple? The worst thing is that I know the answer. The, why do I know so much about <laughs> so this So I'm going to go to Destin first. Uh, I think it's uh, either... I think it's boil. I'll go with B. I, I, don't, don't, I agree, it's Boyle. Yeah, it's Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, it's is Boyle. Boyle. Good yeah. job, everybody. everybody gets a point uh, this week. I would like to commend Question Center Michael. That is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And I like his to think choice. Boyle's really good. Yeah, his choice of red herring there was fantastic because yeah. it fits right in. Yeah. So Also, uh, we, Mitch and I, have to, we want to do some Let's Plays of Battletoads. Yeah, we just need to legally I want, acquire I would like in on that as well. Yeah, I guess we need to legally acquire Battletoads. If you have, hey, if you want to send a Battletoads care mm-hmm. package, holla. <laughs> <laughs> a copy of Battletoads on NES if you got one yeah 
We have the NES. Have you just asked oh, so we can Fran or around the office? I'm sure somebody owns that. Somebody's got it. We have the NES. Mm-hmm. Good times. It's All right. Uh, really nice. Good stuff from Michael Kaiser out of Blacksburg, Virginia. If you would like to win something, it won't be a rare, rare T-shirt, but it'll be a video game or something interesting mm-hmm, from mm-hmm. Our, our prize pile. Send an Xbox-related trivia question. Four multiple-choice answers. Note the correct one. And uh, maybe your mailing address in case we have to mail you something. Send that where, Mitch? Unlocked at IGN.com. Love it. Let's plug some things and yes. go home. Marty? Pluggery. Uh, I'm on Twitter at McBiggity, two Gs and two Ts. Uh, a lot of cool stuff coming up the next week or two. Uh, oh, we're all going to be doing GDC. Yeah. Uh, we already have a bunch of cool appointments unlocked or just regularly locked no, I, down <laughs> for that. Uh, we're going to have a lot of cool indie games. Uh, Mitch and I are going to be at PAX late next week, so you'll hear about that all over the weekend. Yep. More cool things locked down. Uh, our IGN first for next month is very cool and up Marty's alley. Curveball. Curveball. Up oh, Marty's alley. Uh, and uh, Not a baseball game, just FYI, even though I said curveball. That's true. It's, it's not, totally it's, not a baseball it's game. It's not MLB The Show or yes, an it's, Xbox It's Ken Griffey Jr. 3. <laughs> I would love that. I would totally love that, too. Uh, and listen to Podcasts Beyond if you like talks about video games. Yeah. It's mostly jokes. I sent you a code for Limbo, which you can give away on that We're going to give away a Limbo code. Boom. A Limboed. For PS4. Correct. Every PlayStation owner who is... Th- this is their first crack at that game, right? Didn't it? Uh, no, it's, it's on a Vita. It did come out on. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's on a PS3. It's on everything. Okay. Yeah. It's out on iOS. Yeah. Well, good. Destin, you want to spoil Limbo for it? <laughs> yeah, at the end, you're a little no, bit. Stop it. Yeah. Ugh. YouTube.com slash IGN Arena. You can also subscribe to IGN Arena on iTunes. That's our MOBA slash esports podcast. Uh, that's kind of the big thing going on for us right now. Lots oh, of. We're supposed to plug uh, IGN Live Plays. IGN Plays Live. Yeah. Did you oh, see that email? Our, like three times a week live streams. Three times a week. I doing? think it's uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday and no Monday, Wednesday, Mo- Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Nailed no, yeah. it. It's definitely Wednesday because I have to do it right after this. Oh. <laughs> so instead, of, you know, it's basically instead of working, just yeah. watch IGN play video games. Yeah, we're doing it from one to three p.m. What are you playing? Three days a week. Uh, today we're playing Smash. Nice. Uh, we, we play games like the the Order and H one Z one, Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, yeah, Dustin did it yesterday with Fredo. The week after GDC, I will be playing Smite with some people here. Yeah. Did you finish the Order yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I finished it too. I'll yeah, talk we'll to talk about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna play it uh, next next week. It has werewolves. I need to borrow it from the office, but because I don't want to buy it. So I. Brought back the office copy. Sweet. Have it. Let's yeah. try and snag that. Uh, at Mitchie D, right? Yes, yeah, me. Destin? At Destin Legary. That it? That's it. Yeah. All right. Watch Fire, Fire Team, team chat. chat. Yeah. Videos coming next week is the first one's launching. Everyone's on other yeah. podcasts that they care about more. Taking a trip I'm excited care about. about more? In Impossible. <laughs> I ripped your paper and threw it on the ground. That's true. <laughs> That's clearly a sign of affection. <laughs> Tell no, Marty express his love. Uh, you can find me at DMC underscore Ryan. As Marty said, we're kicking off March's IGN first on Monday. There won't be a teaser on Friday of this week. It's, oh, it's just, just gonna, happening. It's just happening on Friday. I mean, Monday. Uh, so I hope you will check it out and perhaps be pleased, pleased to be excited. Pleased to be excited. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be revo- reviewing Ori in the Blind Forest, but I, like I said, don't have it yet. But that I guess I don't know quite when the review embargo is, but the game is out the tenth, the week, not next week, but the week after. Yeah. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to playing that game yeah. and it's reviewing it. Miami. So oh, play yes. Ori or Grand Theft Auto Online Heist. March is gonna yeah. be so good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have two very cool things hitting IGN that I said I hate to be this guy, but I just have yeah. to vaguely tease them. Next Thursday, specifically Thursday the fifth, I believe it is. If you that would be yes. a day that would probably interest you to stop by. IGN.com. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening next week. There's some really cool things we're working on for GDC. Yeah, and other things. Mm-hmm. Yep. So good it'll stuff. be a grand day indeed. I don't know. You're smirking <laughs> like that's a hint, and I don't understand. He's it. got that Joker are smile. We, on are his we face. unveiling the new Grandia? Is that why you said a grand day indeed? <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, uh, thanks everybody for listening. Most of you do so via iTunes, where you just, you just search "Podcast Unlocked" in the iTunes uh, store search field. The show will pop right up. You s- subscribe to the RSS feed. That's it. Thank you, Marty Sleva. My pleasure. Mitch Dyer, love you. Love that Halo 4 shirt as well. A little didact action. Nice. Isn't that, it doesn't like glow in the dark or something? Or was uh, it was supposed to? Maybe. That might have faded. Yeah. It certainly Mine, does not. Mine's anymore. been awarded 6,000 <laughs> times too, yeah. so. And Destin Legary, thank you. Of course. Thanks everybody for listening. I'm Ryan McCaffrey, and this was Podcast Unlocked, episode 184. For February 25th, 2015, we'll be back with some hot GDC action Woo! next week. Thanks, everybody.